<laughs> That's my hype cast today. was going to be a little bit better, but no. uh, we're starting the same way as always. We're getting right into it. Simple's going to push out with those duelies towards top banana. A little bit of information. Play. Oh, he got too much information. That's information he didn't want to have. Taking out a 22 HP perfecto as he gets shot in the forehead. And going to back away slightly. Not out of this yet, but he's going to be so passive. And that is actually, it almost feels like that might bust up Navi's plans. It looked like they wanted to, oh, there it is, peeking down. First kill on the Rops. Felt like Navi wanted to rotate a fourth player over. You could see Boomich in CT spawn at the moment. But with Perfecto on 22 HP, they might not be able to keep that player cheated this far over. They might have to consider rotating him back, especially as this smoke plumes at left mid. Gutsy to leave Perfecto alone. Super gutsy, but it is the pit position, and we know he's super accurate. There's no utility in the pistol. Maybe that's part of the gamble as well. You'd expect a nade. Oh, there is a Molotov. It was in the air, as I said that, so I didn't identify it on the HUD. My apologies. Twists will burn him alive. That's exactly what I was going to say they might be worried about in a regular round. Twists on it already. We'll take down Boomich. Not before he got brokey, but the advantage by Kerrigan in the exchange for the site. Not the round overall, though. It's a two-on-two. Oh, Twist no. timing. Simple's going to be too far gone. He's not going to slow down. I don't know if Twist will get behind him and get a clean kill, but he will certainly get behind him when he does start to go down inside of the site. Easy peasy. Twist going to make the headshot count as Simple didn't want to jump out. Couldn't figure out why he hadn't spotted anyone. Electronic still with the advantage in terms of positioning. Oh, my God. Twist just wanted to keep him off the bomb. That's a 180 wonder. Twist is trying to keep him off it and go back and hide, but he realizes he's got electronics back to him, so he commits to it. That's massive. What a turnaround shot from Electronic. Absolutely brilliant. And a pistol round for Navi. Great job all the way through. I thought this might seal it. Twist with three kills in the round. Just couldn't find Electronic. Look at this. You don't see this every day. Oh. Twist recommits and Electronic. Just a quick one tap. Shout out to Boomich as well. The flashbang over pit to the back of pit behind perfecto's back blinds the player that's meant to clear him as he's evacuating the molotov allows him to get that kill and even though he burns alive perfecto getting one with 22 hp is fantastic deep mid smoke remember we've seen simple do that run boost to peek around it and peek towards alt mid so that might be setting up that play as we go deeper into this game if they keep seeing that smoke and not use they might get lulled into a false sense of security that's the philosophy behind it So twists with all the kills, but... None of the glory. No, yeah, exactly that. Gets onto the AK. We'll try and do something of it. That banana. We often talk about this, though, in the Counter-Strike landscape. The better buy tees despite losing it because of the bomb going down. Simple will be certainly aware of this fact. Especially when you're up against someone like Kerrigan. You know he's going to call for it. I mean, yeah, he even mentioned in that interview, he's like, it's always the same against Kerrigan. I don't know if I'd believe that, but in Simple's mind, a battle of individual prowess and knowing they have to be on point. Boomich and Perfecto to defend. They do have a Molotov. It's going to be dropped down right now. That's going to buy time for Simple. That seven seconds brings Simple over. He's blocked off by the smoke for the moment. They're running low on utility. Still one flashbang left, and oh, Boomich is going to go down. Good spray from Brokey through the smoke. Sample can't get anything. In fact, he loses his life. Brokey with the kill, Perfecto to respond, but Twists comes in with the AK and finds another, making it now a two-man advantage. Electronic and Bit this time may have to back off of it. Flash out, quick peek, MP9, nothing up close. Can't imagine, yeah, they're even already spotting him. I can't imagine he gets anything and bothers with this round, so he'll back off, Brokey. Just clearing the close angles. It's gonna sit there in case they push that far forward. Kerrigan's gonna take the opportunity to grab that M4. Good find for him. Good little upgrade. That's probably as well by Bits sticking around because he's expecting the bomb to explode and push that gun that direction. That's why he's still checking the angles, but he's going to realize right now that that M4 is long gone. Yeah, joke's on him. It ain't there anymore. He might go for a little bit of a search. Yeah, he's yeah, checking the body. Someone's already grabbed it. Little scavengers. One to one. As FaZe respond immediately with the rifle buy against mostly SMGs for Navi's defense, they're going to be forced into a low buy. The two MP9s that they bring forward, imagine you'll see some Deagles, 5.7s, P250s, upgraded pistols pop out on Simple, Perfecto, and Boomich. Unless Simple wants to save for the AWP. Which he does not. So 1-1. One, one. And phase back to God. <laughs> Simple takes out Rain with a lovely shot on the Deagle. 
Oh, he's hunting for it. I was watching that dot on the minimap the whole time, just jiggle peeking. What a great return on investment that is. That'll make you a little bit nervous if you're FaZe. All of a sudden to start the round, a man down. I figured out a way to, for, for FaZe to win this event, or at least make the finals, by the way, as we've seen them do in several occasions. Rain's sure. actually standing in for JKS this time. Okay, yeah. FaZe with a stand-in is when they're most scary. Is when they're the scariest. Crowman, Exist, all JKS. The, all the classics. That's a good point. They have won a lot of events with stand-ins. Bit. Ooh, misses. Well, Kerrigan misses the opportunity, sees the jiggle peak. Pack mentality from FaZe in this round. Utility spent on rap side. Kerrigan's going to push up with it with the M4. Other three players going to stick around towards lane using the range. Simple. Molotov isn't going to spread completely to him. Kerrigan already in front of library looking for an opener. He's going to get it. Electronic down. He'll swing as well and see if the rotations will arrive. Twists gets bit. Continuing on with a kill around. At pace so far, Brokey takes out simple nice shots and Perfecto all that remains. That smoke plumed and just ruined Brokey's entire plan. It looked like he was going to have at least one on towards Twist, but he lost track of him inside, inside the smoke clouds. And so simple's opening frag is likely all they're going to get. Brokey ready and waiting. Headshot onto Perfecto. 2-1. Phase survive an early disadvantage. And still going to be pistols, at least for Navi. We talked about the P2000 uh, and the fact that Simple's, as far as I know, the only pro using it. Um, I was going on about magazine size. Someone sent me a DM, and I don't often acknowledge. Okay, here we go. You know, people that send uh, bits of info they think is correct. And usually they're wrong, but this is a good point. The P2000 actually has better movement accuracy than the USP. Okay. That could, that could be part of it. It makes him a harder target to hit while he's still running, and maybe he has faith in his shots. So that could be part of it as well. Mac 10's got pretty good moving accuracy and, and a great a great bonus money. Great cash bonus for getting those frags. So four kills on Rain with the Mac 10. He's up to $7,300, but so is Rops. Twist is all the way up at 8,000. Money early on for FaZe is great. They've only lost the one player in these two rounds following their second round victory. Now we get into the rifles. Still no op on the Navi side of things. Light on utility for a bit and simple. They've got no smokes, just a flashbang apiece. No head armor, head armor, excuse me, on a bunch of these players as well. Keep an eye on that smoke, that deep smoke middle. We've seen Simple get run boosted behind it before. We see a lot more teams throwing it so they can get aggressive with utility. Maybe push down to alt middle. This is... Dirty man, man, the pace right now from FaZe as Rain gets underneath the atrium, picks up a weapon upgrades and tries to hold off. But that smoke, if they continue to throw it, Navi is the only team we've seen actually utilize it with the AWP. They don't have one this round, obviously, so weren't going to, but it is a tell, and then we can certainly keep an eye on that. This is why I'm so happy that, that Heku actually asked the question about what's it like going up against Kerrigan? What are your thoughts on it? Because Kerrigan as an in-game leader is just one of those guys who's not ever afraid to go off book, to go off script, to just kind of call something based on feeling. And this is a brilliant timing in a round where he knows that they're likely missing some utility go challenge up mid there's not gonna there might not be a smoke there and when they don't see it obviously it's very fortunate now that they made this call happen when navi's trying to set up a boost that absolutely deletes him just to notice well three kills for kerrigan that just won the round he got all three of those entries yeah we spoke about him as well the last matchup they had 29 frags for kerrigan in the best of three at the end of the group stage in katowice that included a double overtime on the third map and remember him even tweeting out publicly about what a horrible game he felt like he had and obviously there's a little bit of a feeling of wanting to show a better form here quick tech pause coming in tortoise shell glasses they're off going back and forth a bunch it seems no one really decisive in direction off spawn but either way, Twist's already inside of the banana position, gonna put his own pop flash into play, potentially activate him out of that corner. No deep utility in terms of Molotovs thrown that direction. There was a nade to tree. Twist down to 56 on that nade? Was it? There's two trails. Was there two nades? I only heard one. That's the second. That one's far. He took a lot of damage considering I thought that went to the tree side. You gotta know Boomich likes to play at the sandbag. Molotov nade on top of him. 27 HP for Boomich. Flashbang as he jumps up. Nobody's there. Twist is going to hear the sound cue as he drops off, but Boomich is going to back away. Twist will hear that as well. So likely calling out the top banana is now clear. Kerrigan turning the corner. 
Looking to challenge, has the angle, and Perfecto's shoulder shows, but he gets into safety quickly. No real pressure over at the A bomb site. Just now, a bit of utility is thrown out. No bodies really coming up mid. Smoke on wrap side, Molotov towards lane, imitating a brackets take, brackets control from phase, but not utilizing it. 43 seconds on the clock. No early picks either side in this particular round. That's certainly been something FaZe has been benefiting from. Oh, I don't that's know if gap. that's the smoke he wanted to throw. It hits the stairs, but it is going to make things awkward. The way that it plumes, actually, your feet would show first. Rain's got to buy this. Electronic can hear it. Can't do anything with it. The team flash, though. He's lucky he didn't get peaked. As Electronic sits inside of the site, stairs, excuse me, inside of the pit still, inside of the site, rather. It's a bit in the corner, and Brokey and Rain will clear both those positions. Rops now in the site itself. will cover off as the bomb goes down in the hands of Rain. Actually, going to be turning it back, doubling up, getting on the board, getting rolling as well. I said it was Rain that was planning, it was Brokey. So Brokey's gonna actually swing out toward the uh, bracket beside the atrium. And Simple, the last alive with a Deagle, probably not gonna make a play for the round, but might try and get an exit and find some guns here. He's got those two FAMAS down in lane, which I think is Brokey's kind of got his eyes on those at the moment. The question is, Simple want to try and deal damage right before the bomb blast. Brokey's gonna back away at some point. We'll push forward into Simple. He's gonna push forward all on his own, and he's got Simple. Simple never expected it, just wanted the FAMAS. Five to one, real quick, real early for FaZe, and not just the lead in terms of scoreboard. Look at the lead in terms of economy. All five players from FaZe before the buy in this round were sitting at 13K, right around there. Yeah, that smoke's a weird one, right? It looked intentional the way he wanted it to, to plume. I'm wondering if from his perspective, because it lines up weirdly like the circulation of it, the, the radius of it with the cart, and you might see their feet coming through it before they see you because of the height difference. It looked like it was misthrown, yeah, but then when I saw his perspective, I thought mm, that might actually be quite intentional. Might have been a Bob Ross level accident. Happy little accident. Op on simple. Peering towards mid. Has spotted nothing just yet. Slow pace, banana control. Boomich with the smoke. Perfecto at the B bomb site has a Molotov as well. Trying to set up the sandbags play again. This time a Molotov to prevent any escape for Boomich. Flashbang comes out. Oh, that time it's perfectly designed. Oh, the Molotov to follow it up as well. This attack is split. Kerrigan sees a gap in the smoke. He's going to try and take advantage of it, but Boomich has already gotten away. Good play from Boomich and Perfecto. Another man advantage for Navi. Another one indeed. Trying to get another round on the board after winning the pistol, but being shut out since. Still, if you're if you're phase, you've kind of counted the utility, right? You're like, okay, they just use a Molotov. They used a smoke as well. Probably not a whole lot of nades, and they'd be correct towards this B-bomb site. Simple still has not budged. He doesn't really have anything to slow this down, but he does have a pop flash. If he was closer by, he could bomb it up into the sky by the roof to blind them as they came in, but indeed he doesn't. Kerrigan get a Molotov towards Boomich's position. That's massive. He's so low. Good opening kill from Kerrigan. They're going to stream in to the bomb site. Kerrigan at first orange just goes down. Perfecto holding on as long as possible. Simple's here with that flashbang, but it's going to be way too late. Way too late, and Rain's got the kill and coming in with the plant. So again, despite losing the first pick, it's going to be FaZe that gets inside of the site. Bit smoke dissipating. We'll try and catch them on retreat and removal. I need to hurry up if they want to go for this at all. There's no kits in play. I can't imagine. I think they're just going to hold this one out and try and get exits on it. I say that, though. They're still getting a bit more aggressive. Simple. AWP looking toward the site itself, but the smoke off indicates that they want to use that for their escape. Yeah, defensive smoke to back out and save the weapons. So Navi still not deterred by this... 5-1, to one, now to be 6-1 to one lead as soon as the bomb goes off. Still playing the economic game to make sure they can continue fighting. Pretty simple T-side so far for Fate. It's going to be interesting to see when Navi starts making the call that they can't go for those kinds of saves when they start feeling the pressure. There's that smoke again with the gap on the left side. Simple blind, but... Doesn't care. Couple of 
speculative shots from the M4 of Boomich down inside of the lane. He'll go back and retrieve another grenade, another smoke from the stockpile. Yeah, he set up some deep smokes, so showing banana control for the CT side. Kerrigan and Rain cautiously taking control of brackets, just the pair of them. Rops is still up in holes. Kerrigan's getting a little peaky. He's feeling confident. Ooh, oh, that actually forced him back. That Molotov, he thought it might have been a flash, I think, at first in the air and looked away from it. When he did, he took a step, and if he hadn't, have, I think he gets peaked from the close player in that situation and goes down to a bit back to the site instead. This is tense. It seems like both players wanted to get aggressive towards lane at exactly the same time. That's going to make for an awkward read of what's happening across the map. Kerrigan's going to shift. Smoke out to cover off simple. It's not quite. It's going to go. Oh, it does. Okay. I thought it was going to go into more to the arch when I heard it land. But Kerrigan will now get access to the arch at the very least. Does he want to go through this? There's no one that's going to flash his side. He is. He's going to go straight through that. A second one as well. That means he can try and get in through library. A bit aware of it looking that direction. Having gone by simple, he may have gone undetected. That's what he was hoping for. Rops on the board now. He'll get simple down inside of the site. Twists find bits who only got one more once they arrived. Once Kerrigan had gone down. Only one solitary kill coming in in the bomb planted again for FaZe, looking at 7-1 if Perfecto and Boomich don't think of this one as an ideal opportunity, and they're going to back away. Wow. What great trading coming in as well. And that's a good shift in the defense. Simple gets smoked off, gets into the bomb site. You have Bit Hop up on the box to watch for that play through the smoke. They got that. They neutralize Kerrigan as he comes through, but everyone else is going down. That meant Electronic kind of had to be a little bit more spotty, a little bit more peaky than he probably wanted to be. He didn't, I don't think he wanted to be initial contact in that position, but the defensive shift forced him into it. And Simple gets caught, I believe, looking at lane while the attack came from Palace or from Halls. Rops is on the board, Matt. He's got his first kill. Yep, important one as well. Traded out simple in the back of the site and allowed them to get that bomb plant down much quicker. Bit was obviously done for in the corner, but fi not finding simple in that back corner could have been very awkward. So Brocky and Rops use the exact same crosshair, just to note. That's kind of cool. Who copied who? Uh, I would bet Brokey took Rops's. I agree. And most of Navi's is similar-ish. Bit, simple, Electronic, all very similar. Bringing all the important information here at ESL Pro League Playoffs. Twist is the only one that's using a dot in the entire server. Yellow as well. Ew. It's kind of beautiful. It's the color of maple syrup. It's not actually yellow. That I was going to say, that's a weird... You're, you're having some weird syrup, which is odd for Canada. Electronic. Color of cheese on poutine. Electronics up at the balcony, bit watching rap side. Simple has an op again, but he's over towards the B bomb site. They still have not been able to get a, a real comfortable read of and set in any kind of way to defend against some of these hits. Kerrigan's calling a phenomenal game at the moment. And they're really leaning on the economic superiority, slow playing with some of their utility. Navi's always struggling to have the right nade at the right time. There's that smoke towards left side mid from Rops. Gonna put Bit and Electronic on notice. Boomich has gone searching. Flashbang negates Brokey's AWP. Simple's rotated off. Another misread from Navi. Confidence in this smoke. There's a big gap in that. I think Boomich knows it as well. He jumped right into this position to exploit. Flash is inside of it. Smokes as well. Boomich has to back away, but he puts the incendiary down. Twists. Thought about going through it. Instead, he extinguishes it. Didn't want to be isolated. One of his teammates to get in there with him, but couldn't find the lineup onto Perfecto. Only hit him with one shot. Puts him on 46, and then Boomich is able to walk out. Crossfire undeterred so far. Rob sprays it. He got one. Oh, he's got the second as well. They fall into his weapon. Three in total this round. AWP in hand for him, but with only three seconds left, the bomb will not be planted, and Navi will get their second. Seven to two. Rob's going to keep this AWP. Yeah, they're not going to push the issue. That's a costly victory. That looked a little bit sloppy from Mavi, but you can understand the idea. They're kind of throwing bodies into that retake before it even begins so that they don't have time to go for the plant so that Rops has to waste seconds. However, that does take the op out of Simple's hands for the next round. Boomich can afford one, but does he want to? He's got 5,400. And he's going to go for the M4. Simple going to pick up the noob tube, the auto shotgun, a new weapon in the Simple arsenal. Let's see what he can do with it. Boomage, you're standing in flames, my friend. Down to 45 HP, and that was from his own 
situation that he could have pushed through, but was expecting him to be more aggressive, and without the molly in play, didn't want to get that low in the lane. He will get Twist, who came through the smoke thinking it was safe. Good to see Boomich kind of exert his will, though, at Banana in this round to just really dominate, put down Twist, and just say, I have Banana control. This round, you have no access to it. Challenging for it. Navi looking for their second in a row towards Bit and Simple, or excuse me, Perfecto towards Spawn. Bit's gonna find a kill right through the smoke. That's from Library. Bombs dropped. Rain has to get aggressive to pick it up. Pre-firing into the smoke, trying to keep these defenders at bay. Oh, almost found Bit there. Bit's lucky to be alive through that smoke. Three on five. Looks like Navi have stabilized. Simple with that auto shotgun still has not been put into play. Just, I know Twist has cooled off a little bit. He was at six kills, I think four rounds in. He's only on seven now. And in the last round, couldn't quite get that lineup onto Perfecto. That might have made the difference in the round as well. So it's very easy to go cold when, you know, even though you're winning the rounds and things are going your way, if you're not able to get anything, and then suddenly you're put on the spot. Rops has certainly recovered from a slow start, but again, as you mentioned, he wouldn't have been upset by that. Was not dying. It wasn't like he was struggling. He just wasn't needed. He might be now as he's going to come out from the apartment position. Smoke already on the corner. Shotgun dig. Simple down below is going to get two, and Bomb will fall to his feet. Brokey up close. Can't do anything with the AWP. Good old shotgun action. Heads up play from Simple. Really well done just watching the other side of that smoke. And, and you would have seen that here. He would have seen that if he was watching tape, watching film. Because remember, the last time we saw FaZe play Inferno, they recovered from a lot of awkward situations with Robsters lurking out of those halls along that balcony. He was able to find plenty of openings to bring the round back in FaZe's favor. So Simple steps up. The alligator goes to work. He's got the op now as well. Picks and it up off Brokey's cold dead hands. Not gonna be it. I thought, again, keep an eye on that smoke. He didn't even go that direction. He's over toward Banana right now. So no need to get aggressive for Boomich, but Nades, okay, we're gonna twist that off down already. Boomich has to grab it and run back with it. So he's already rotating around. Oh, that's so much counter utility having to be spent to slow down any kind of hit that might be coming. They had no idea they had to dump a bunch. Twist is actually in a pretty decent position if you wanted to peek in, but with the man advantage. Again, a great call from Kerrigan, or whoever calls for the triple nade in towards that position after Simple picks up the op. Look how little utility was thrown as well, because Simple wants them to come that direction. He thinks he can take that fight. Kerrigan's going to just nail bit. I admire Boomich. Not only did he immediately identify that he has to pick up the AWP, but he rotates around like an opper should do to stay dynamic. Unfortunately for him, Perfecto's the only one left in B, and this round's over. Rops is still lurking toward the apartments as well. He's spotted up, though, and a little bit of damage into him, but he can certainly take weapons away, and he'll do exactly that to Electronic. It's going to be 8-3 to three for FaZe. Simple mentioned that this game was going to come down to kind of, uh, I think his words were, whoever does more damage is likely going to take it. Yeah. And certainly mentioned the individual level of players as being a main factor in this due to the individual capabilities of these phase players. At the moment, they are destroying Navi on an individual level. You add on top of that, Kerrigan's calling in this game, the fast pace in the first gun round up mid that catches Navi off guard, the triple nade that eliminates Simple. He gets caught off guard by that. In this round towards the beat bomb site, so they're getting beat individually. They're getting beat tactically as well. And that's why FaZe is sitting at a five-round lead, eight to three. Still plenty of money. Navi have not dug into this extra cash in the pockets of FaZe whatsoever. In the rounds FaZe have won, they have never dropped below three players surviving. These wins, these round wins for FaZe have been so convincing. Electronic with a deep nade, hoping to do damage at the bottom of mid. A little tickle twists. Brokey trying to get aggressive with the AW. Yikes. Yeah, smoke off twists. That's fine. Hey, Twists, you've had enough kills, okay? I need to get my op going. Seven kills for Brokey. Eight for Twists. Plenty of nades and Molotov spent. Still no rotation from the A defenders. Simple still perched watching mid. Four smokes and a Molotov. Plenty of flashbangs for FaZe for the rest of this round. There's a decent amount of utility as well. Navi's done a good job of holding on to their Molotovs.
FaZe look like they're going to take mid control, brackets control. We've seen them do this a number of times. Sometimes they've used it, sometimes they haven't. That's good counter utility, counter smoke from Simple. They're going to come through it. Simple as the first. Kerrigan doesn't want to let him get away. Simple knows this, and Bit's going to peek into the flames to help protect the AWPer. And back to the B bomb site we go, but this hit has to begin right now. Twists. A couple of quick shots again inside smoke. He's going to be the one to enter. He's got coverage on his right side at Coffins. No one would be above that. He's already gotten into water, so they won't be able to peek him from there. But a flash out. He's able to detect and evade and a gap through. Looking for Perfecto, but he comes into a crossfire. They peek it together. They use sound perfectly. And Perfecto and Boomit sh shut out the site eight to four. Oh, that's got to be a great feeling for Navi. Finally, finally, they survive with all five players. A very clean win. And this time, they were able to, as I mentioned, hold on to their utility. You can see the impact it had. The smoke towards the B bomb site that slows things down. Doesn't let them know Perfecto's position. Twist had to be very very, very cautious and considerate of where the peak was going to come from. A follow-up flashbang from Boomich over the top as well. Just very nicely played from Boomich and Perfecto at B, as well as Simple and Bit over towards Brackets. Oh, Simple's going to use it this time. They've been setting this up throughout the half. Broke, he's ready for it. Never caught snoozing. And up, I mean, part of that whole oh, Boomich is blind as well. Oh, no. Kerrigan countering everything. Bit, going to find the kill. Bring it back to a 3v4, but there's only one defender at A, that's Electronic. Rotating back though, Bit's gonna try and get there. Perfecto with him, one through Arch, one through Library. No one in the pit side, but no one pushing out yet from FaZe either. And Electronic gonna go all the way around knowing that if they don't have the pit position, he can still get aggressive. Still trying to cut this off using the Atrium, set up a crossfire as well with Bit, but he smoked off, shoulder shows. That's gonna be enough. Brain, knowing he fired into it, knowing he was down the lane, capitalizes. He's trying to find a headshot. He had the lineups right, he had the positions right, they just wouldn't give it to him. Rops has to tear it from them instead as Perfecto holding inside of the site. is both to find and Rops steps up to take him down as well. Tough situation. Electronic might be a little bit frustrated as he's playing up in lane. He's got two teammates back in the bomb site. Not either of them are watching holes well enough to prevent them from wrapping and dropping behind him as he's trying to hold on to Boiler, as he's trying to fight over the flames in middle. Gets completely caught. Great opening, though, from FaZe. So hard to recover these 3v5s, even when you rotate everyone to the right position. And Perfecto, you can't blame him. He had to try and find a 1v1 while his Molotov was still burning. Ninth round for FaZe. Two remaining in the half. Navi trying to keep this as close as possible, trying to withstand this beastly performance on the T side. Nade down, twists, tag to 78 again. He's been playing in that pocket. That nade a little more direct. And it's the big bad boom, the sonic boom he's got to go against. Rain, meanwhile, trying to find access toward the top of middle nose. There's still a smoke down. He'll get mid-wall at the very least. I know I've been waxing lyrical about Kerrigan's calling this game, but another change of pace, and Navi had to dump a decent amount of utility early just because th it's happened so many times. The uh, phase has gone from fast to slow, back to fast again a number of times throughout this in different parts of the map, so this defense can't ever really get a read. And look at the gap. Look at the opening that's been found. Rain, ballsy and courageous, but he's found a huge positional advantage. Simple slowly working back this direction is aware that Arch could be given up, but he's not aware that Rain is inside of the library. Down he goes, smartly one step ahead, and as he turns around, Bits found as well. Electronic through the smoke, Twist has the kill onto him. He'll plant the bomb safely in the corner. They have library side, so no need to leave it open to the atrium and on the hunt already. Kerrigan down to the bottom side of Banana. They don't have a lot of money left over on Navi. These two weapons are all they're going to have to work at the end of the half. We're going into round 15. And if you're phase, you send everything at the hunt. You're gonna leave Twist just to watch and make sure there's no sneaky defuse right at the end. Rain has already spotted Perfecto. But FaZe want to take everything away, and I think they're going to do it. Boomich in the main choke point, going to get an off-angle kill. Perfect trade from Rops, perfect flashbang from Rain, and great precision from Rops on the blind player. 10-4, to four, double digits for FaZe. Navi coming in this looking a little lethargic. They haven't been able to stop anything. They haven't really been able to slow FaZe down. Even rounds in which they've found some opening kills, FaZe has done a phenomenal job of recovering in them. Absolutely. 
Yeah, I, you're right. I mean, you go back to, I mean, we've seen Boomich lost. push down, get a kill. We saw Simple with the Deagle get that opening kill. We've yeah. seen one or two more as well. I was going to say, they lost the opening pistol, right? And then obviously yeah. Eco'd it right back. Two rounds later, they lost a man advantage. They pulled that back with an execution on B to make it a 3 3 from a 5 on 3. And yeah, they, they've, you're right. It's not like they've needed the opening pick. They've just been very coordinated on how they're going to take the map from Navi. Kind of super difficult CT half for Navi, and it's going to stay that way. They have not gotten comfortable. Not really once. Final round of the first half. Navi likely can't be more thankful that this is almost coming to an end, that they can switch sides. Bit. Gonna swing out. Dropped Electronic with a kill, but oh, how many more can he get? Kerrigan's very low. He's found that. Staying alive in the pit. He's got AKs up against him. Simple has pushed through the smoke as well. Smoke at the front of the bomb site, but they're not wrapping just yet through the smoke. It's gonna be Simple with the kill. Twist finds Electronic. Twist does find Electronic. Simple's not done. Above the smoke. Still trying to get the job completed. And have they cleared the pit? They have. So Perfecto and Simple, the only two left. Rops over top of the smoke and Perfecto rotating around. I'm not much for skins, but I will say that that... MP9, Electronic was holding the pit, is the best skin I have seen in all of Counter-Strike. It's perfect, though. Might not have any skin left on his body at the end of this round because FaZe are going to steal it from him. Nice shot to catch out. Twists! The headshot. He's still got a chance in this. He's got a kit. Keep that in mind. And now he has a chance to go and grab Twists. Okay, he's got the AWP. I was going to say Twists weapon, but Perfecto onto the off instead. Knows he just needs one shot. Can't find it. That would have been the opportunity. Tons of time left on the clock. And now knowing that the AWP is in play, Perfecto has to find Rops who's hiding behind a wall. He's looking for some luck. He's looking for the wall bang. trying to bait him out. And he's got to go aggressive. Oh. He's hit it. He's got he time. time. He absolutely does. With he's got a kit. That's a huge, huge fight to win. Yeah, that's brilliant. What a clutch from Perfecto. Perfecto and pulling Navi all across the map. They could not get situated on the defensive side. Down five rounds heading into the pistol round. Navi's going to play this one passively to begin. Plenty of players back towards base of mid as Bit establishes some control in Banana, or at least some safety. There's your boy Rain. He's back on the P2K. P2K. Yeah, there you go. There's another one. Got a Navi sticker on that bad boy. It's just like, yo, I'm going to take Simple's gun. Maybe it's the Navi killer. Maybe he only uses it in these matches against Navi. Okay. So that he can... Style on him? Yes. Just rub it in. Give the give the sticker a little kiss at the end of each round. Simple. P250 is trying to make some noise toward Kerrigan. A couple shots that force him back off the angle. Doesn't want to re-peak. Meanwhile, Electronic with the Glock searching out information on the opposing side of the map. Yeah, the hit's gonna come in right now because Electronic's in position to pick and choose when he wants to lurk. Rain's gonna try and block that smoke as best he can. He's gonna step through it now. Electronic, oh dear, gets absolutely wrecked by Brokey. He was ready for that play. Four on five, three on five. Simple goes down. That's the P250 hit in the deck. Rain gets gooshed and dropped through smoke. Kerrigan's gonna come through with the flashbang. Kerrigan's already beginning this. Oh, he's gonna stop the plant. Bomb hits ground. No one from Navi protecting it. Good return from Bit, but that might be a dagger. That's a huge play. Look at the flank as well. Rops can do it all over again. P2000, by the way, was the one that killed Simple, so it did work out for Ring quite literally. He's not going to stop the plant this time. They still get it down, but they've got positioning. As you say, Rops already on the back door. We'll take down Bit. Brokey found the kill on Perfecto as that happened. So FaZe will get this pistol round and go 11-5. Just that delay caused by Kerrigan taking down the initial bomb planter puts Rops in a perfect position. He could have even hustled and challenged to delay that plant a little bit more. He had so many options. Good heads-up play from Brokey as he rotates off, not taking his attention away from the corner. FaZe have a six-round lead, and as has been the theme, the economic control. Two M4 is picked up. Famas on Twist. They know a buy of some sort is going to come in. It's going to be a hero AK-47 over on Simple. Boomage drops that over. Now would be a great time for Simple to provide something special. Nobody from Navi in double digits just yet. Nine kills on Perfecto and Bit. Eight on Boomage. Seven on Simple. Five on Electronic. Meanwhile, all five players have phase in double digits. So Zimple was right. This match is coming down to the individual performances. Unfortunately, the best individual performances at the moment are all on the face side. Yeah, he, 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 whoever does the most damage will win is what he said. And unfortunately, that's not always true. But in this case, very much so. So um, maybe he's a bit of a savant, a bit of a prophet. See if he can profit in this round. He's got an AK. The hero weapon. Kerrigan on the offside. 
push down already. A nice steep incendiary that'll hold them out a little bit longer as well. A minute still to work with. Smoke on top of it. A little bit late. Didn't quite extinguish immediately, so there's a bit of a time period in which it blooms, and that's when they jump through. But that's when Kerrigan, standing there at the ready, will take them down. At least the first one. Pretty decent damage on a simple down to 76 HP. He's going to transition over towards mid. There's a three-player stack here. One up on the balcony, one underneath, and one left side mid. And there's not enough utility to negate this. Only one flashbang, and there is no way. Simple even looked up towards the balcony, didn't see anyone. Rop slides out a little bit further, is able to get one cheeky kill. Bit brought down and broke. He's going to hunt him down. There's electronic pouncing, but too little, too late. Although he does have a Fomus in hand. Drops ready. Perfecto. That AK coming to play. Two rifles, three on two. Winnable situation. He's blinded, but no one spots him. No armor yet. Electronic down below, though. This is Kerrigan that's easily should be taken down given the HP situation, but you're right, no armor. And as he backs off, Kerrigan baiting with noise. He gets caught out by Brokey, and they can't actually collect Kerrigan. That running MP9 too quick. Yeah, the drive-by. Usain Bolt. Well done. AK-47 picked up and salvaged for Kerrigan, who gets a double kill. Brokey with two kills as well. FaZe with a commanding seven-round lead, but another buy going to be coming in for Na'Vi. That plant helps out massively, and also they only spent money on one AK-47, so Boomich will go down to something like a Tech 9 maybe a Deagle. He liked the P250 in the first half. Everyone else going to have the AK-47s. Na'Vi running out of time to get back into this game. Running out of time to start a comeback. Definitely are. And Navi's had quite a bit of time off. Obviously played and won the group 5-0. Got the bye to the quarterfinal. Had quite a bit of time off since that group D concluded, uh, what was it, last Sunday? So, perfecto. Swinging through, trying to find some damage inside the smoke. Didn't quite jump all the way to the bags, but could go up and over them. But that's exactly what Kerrigan's ready for. And Rain swinging in, only good for one. The trades come back. Robson Rain down, bit simple of kills, but still a man to the good on the phase side. God, that's the kind of really, really stiff resistance that we never saw Navi try and pull off at the top of Banana in the first half. At most, it was Boomich being set up with flashbangs and Molotov by Perfecto. Really not a whole lot of bodies moving out towards sandbags for the CT side when Navi was playing defense. Simple and bit with the smoke. Gonna block off Twist, gonna find an avenue into the bomb site. No one's home. Brokey rotating over through library. He'll be joined up likely with Twist. Kerrigan flanking up middle, but the bomb is gonna get planted and we have a retake scenario. Simple. Getting away from the Molotov. Doesn't want to burn alive while putting that down. Only on 31 HP. It'll buy a bit of space to set this retake up as they're going to get closer. It's all on Kerrigan's flank and halls. If he finds Bit over in Graveyard, that's everything. It's a tough angle. Tough ask. A few different headshot positions he can peek from. And he just holds the bottom of the stairs. They're going to try and boost above smoke. Twists, drops down. Noise made. And given that it's a falling noise, you may even expect that there's two there. Because where did he fall from? He's fallen into the grave at this point in good hold as Bit pops out to get twists. Nice crossfire between he and Simple. Yeah, that graveyard position is just so, so, so strong. Especially someone like Bit with his headshot percentage. Finds Kerrigan as he crosses over. Kerrigan kind of, it looked like he didn't even really necessarily want the peak, or maybe he was taking a wider peak than that position. Wanted the information of where Bit was, but he doesn't get away with it. Spammed through the door. Phase. Finally going to be in some monetary troubles. That's a new experience for them in this game. It's taken 18 rounds to get here. They do have an op in Brokey's hands. Quietly become one of the most impactful offers we have in the scene. Molotov nade. Chuck it all. Flash perfect though, forced back inside of the corner. Ooh, rain. Silenced M4 or not, Simple knows his angles, and he absolutely nails him back through the smoke. Oh, he even spotted Rops on the balcony. This is the first time in the entire game, including after winning the pistol, that Navi has had the economic advantage, by the way. Even in that second round of the first half, they had four SMGs against, like, exactly. three rifles as well, so odd. Yeah, it's been such a, it has to have been a, such a frustrating game. If you're Navi, you feel like you haven't really had a whole lot of chances. Well, you've had chances, but you feel like you haven't really had enough clean buys to feel comfortable to get back into this game. Electronic's going to start challenging towards Rapside. Brokey's watching this with the op, though. Electro if Electronic is the first contact, he's likely going down. This is just a walk into the AWP. Oh, the timing on that is everything. 
He still gets the kill. And Twist gets one through smoke. This is a doable retake. They're gonna come for this. Kerrigan's on the flank up banana. He's only got a P250. M4 on Twist, Eagle on Rops, Op and broke his hands as well. Shot out from Bit will take down Kerrigan. I wonder if they're gonna commit now that they've lost that player. Looks like they just want to back off and survive the bomb blast. Simple wants to take the weapons away. He's going to push forward. Bits even got them locked in. Here's the first. Well played from Brokey. You wouldn't expect that angle, would you? Perfecto knows he can't stay around any longer to take him down. And Brokey sacrifices himself. The problem is he sacrifices the AWP. Five round lead. Navi's starting to cut into it. Navi got not going out without a fight. It seemed like they might just fade away after the first half and losing the pistol round, but this is great to see. Yeah, just stepping into it, finds the headshot through smoke. Rain goes down. Oh, twist not entirely through smoke. He did spot Boomich before it plumed. Round 20. I don't think we've seen a timeout from either of these teams just yet. Navi played through a lot of adversity in the first half. And Kerrigan obviously was just feeling the call so much, no need. Electronic wants to be first around the corner this time. This is where that shot went through the smoke in the last round. The nade trajectory suggests someone else is in that position. Rops removes Simple with perfection. Now he's got to fall off of it. And when they go hunting, Twist is able to back him up. Electronic falls next. Meanwhile, back over at B, Boomich trying to distract and hold the two players inside of the site at bay because Bit is working out. Look at this one-two punch. Yeah, fair play from Bit. I don't even mind that play. He thought he had one. He knew he had to thin it out. He could have never expected the second player was going to be there. So it takes a big risk and obviously doesn't work out for him. But Navi was running out of options. He had to see if he could catch them before they were able to fall back in towards safety to punish the retreat from lane. Infecto needs to look up. Needs to look up. But he's got smoke in his face. FaZe have found some solutions in a very low buy scenario. Three players here as Rops is watching in mid. Navi's hoping their silence would force someone to rotate away. Twist is even all the way back by T Apartments just to make sure they can't save these weapons. And Navi's starting to back off now. Twist might have a role yet to play. Twist's going to sneak it. Around Kerrigan. Perfecto. Couldn't land it on the AK. Slow to find it. That's twice Kerrigan's just been running and gunning on that MP9. Oh, Boomich slips the net. At least for the moment. They're hunting. He can get away from underpass. Gonna stick in it. Turns around. They're gonna drop to find this, and Kerrigan gets him right at the end. Good sacrifice from Twist. It's like they can smell him. 13 to Searching 7. Searching for the rat in the sewer. Absolutely has. Back to the pistols this time. Kerrigan going to get aggressive. Taking that unicorn pride all the way to the bottom, baby. He's going to try and run and gun and spray some more. Just absolutely removing Perfecto with such gusto. No remorse as he continues to run and hold that position. He's going to come back and help Rocky. Hey, man, my AK is insufficient. Do you think maybe you could just bring that little nail gun back, if that's all right? This is FaZe just flexing oh so hard. Everywhere on the map, they're pushing forward. That's a good kill as he spins to find Kerrigan at the door. That's all he's going to get, though. You're not wrong. They're not even giving an inch. They're just absolutely saying, oh, Navi, you think you're good, huh? Up in, up in their face, not letting Navi have anything. It's one way to mess with the confidence. Finals of VSL Pro League. Fury awaiting for the winner. Kerrigan perfectly pushing again. He's only good for one, but Rain is right there, and he finds two. Not only did he get electronic, he got simple in that exchange. One through the smoke and one to the left. This Brokey has to back away. Rob's going to hold inside of the boiler. It's just Bit and Boomich and FaZe looking to try and find map points already yeah on inferno just constant aggression navi never able to even execute any plans boomage and bit to recover the bomb phase will let them have it they don't care they've got robson boiler brokey off angle and brackets rain and twists 
both playing in the spawn choke point. All they need is one, and then they can play as passively as they'd like and wait for reinforcements for the retake. They don't even necessarily need the one. They don't have to commit to find it. Bit. Trying to get inside of the site. Smokes off the Molotov because he was lit ablaze. Gap inside of those two smokes, and Twist makes no mistake to take his head clean off. Boomich that will fall, suffer the same fate and fall in the same position as he walks in. Rain with the kill, and it is indeed map point for phase. 15 to 7. Navi only in single digits still. Absolutely. If you're a Navi fan, don't get too worried. Well, Dust 2 is next as well, which is, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a map you can quickly recover on. It's not like there's anything crazy. It's another heads-up duel map, though, in a lot of ways. It's individual duels for positions. And right now, as you said, Jason, it's been all the individual prowess of FaZe winning out. But Boomich this time is going to get the opening pick, burning a player alive in the form of Kerrigan, considering they're on pistols again to try and force this game longer. That's a great opening kill to find. Simple's had Deagle armor for the last three rounds. He hasn't been able to get a rifle in his hands. I mean, he, we always talk about economy is easier to manage when you're on the T side, but this has, been, uh, th this has been a game where Navi just haven't been able to get anything going in their favor. They've constantly been on the back foot in terms of their money. And then you add in the tactics and the individual level. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the scoreboard. Five on four for Navi that they desperately need to win. But blind is electronic. Boomich with an important trade. Twist steps through. That's Couple you. nice kills for him. You can see it coming. Twist wanted to go through the smoke on his own. He was flashed. As soon as his teammate engaged, he absolutely knew he had to jump on them. In for two. And it's down to just simple and perfecto. But hang on. B's wide open. Brokey's going back now, but he's already smoked off. They're going to get a bomb plant out of this at the very least. And a bomb plant down, simple on a deagle. This could still become interesting. They're not even certain. They're probably somewhat confused. Hang on, how do we have a whole site to ourselves? Well, 27 seconds left in the round. They do, and they've got an M4 picked up. Simple has a little bit more than a deagle now. You mentioned it as well. Oh, he man. has armor. Rain's going to start to clear and sneak it behind for the peek out from Coffins. Now they know where Simple is. He's going to get a double on that as well. Twists, falls. They gave this one away. Brokey, not with his customary AWP. Sneaking to try and find an angle instead goes to the knife to walk just that extra bit faster because he wants to stay quiet and undetected But as he gets closer simple looms large on the back side of the connecting position He's fallen low HP, but broke he's tagged as well single digit for both and time is now very much the enemy and they have to run it away Perfecto gets the kill on the tech nine and he will survive to carry an AK back into the round I actually thought that phase was gonna do a great job of just wrapping all the way around that kind of stack on coffins I thought coming up would be the perfect play But obviously they just never had the information of where the second player was they only ever saw simple he's the one who got the kills made that very diff difficult to figure it out you could even see twist coming in for the retake looking elsewhere you can see in that clip as he's looking back towards new boxes hoping for the follow-up peak from the second player that just never came seven rounds left for phase to find the final round to close out the first map take a 1-0 lead going into dust two Perfecto pushing up. Molotov going to be put out. He's on his own. Easy kill for Kerrigan. Simple does step through. Oh, he's on a rampage. Yep. He's got Kerrigan stuck in the corner, and he's going to find that for sure. Relentless in pursuit. Trying to create something in a desperate situation. 17 kills. You're right. He's definitely motivated now. Wants to try and bring this back level all on his own, it seems. Brokey's the only one on the server. Oh, I take it back. Excuse me. Kerrigan's got 21. He's looking excellent. Electronic, by the way, two in the opening pistol. One of them was absolutely stunning. He has six kills total. Where has he been all game? Simple, I'll tell you where he is right now. Pushing CT spawn behind his smoke. Wants to run these guns down. Wants to firmly give Navi the advantage and keep FaZe forever away from that 16th point. I want to give Electronic a little bit of a... Uh... A little bit of caster support uh, when playing that pit position. Kerrigan worked him so much around the map. It felt like, you know, even when they went B, the hits were so convincing that Electronic didn't really have a chance to get involved in the action. When they came A, the trading was so good. Electronic was always in really difficult fights. Brokey challenging to take some guns away right at the end, and he's got two. Simple pushing forward. Op is important to keep in Brokey's hands, and Simple will not move around the corner. 9 to 15, six more chances for FaZe. on the weapons again this time. Given that they were able to save, still not in a comfortable situation, but a nice 
Nice shot on Boomich by Brokey. Navi fans rejoice. Not out of this yet by any means. Here it is, the run boost for Brokey though. Not for simple, it's not the fling to middle, but it is to try and get an early access to that stairwell. A little bit too late though, just barely a little bit too late. This can be interesting if, if Navi's able to win this one, finally they take the money away from FaZe. Electronic is gonna go down. Good peek from Twist. Again, FaZe challenging all the choke points. When attention is at the B-bomb site, they're flash peeking towards mid. When attention is on mid, they're throwing bodies out towards sandbags at the B-bomb site. FaZe having a very aggressive and dynamic defense. Brokey now rotating over. He's found Boomich out in the open. Five on three for FaZe. A phenomenal chance to close out this map right here, right now, and shut this comeback down. Bit pulling it ever so slightly closer and back toward Navi, though, as he gets ROPs and some map control. He'll head to the front of the library. From there, he's got to worry about Brokey on rotation, but it's really only Twist that holds the A site. Again, a bit of an over-rotation and caught out his perhaps phase. Brokey even getting desperate to fire in through the smoke. They know now where the AWP is. Twist is gone. That is the site. Oh, simple was found through smoke. What a great grab from Brokey. Fortunate grab from Brokey. 35 seconds left in the clock. Molotov going to be put out inside the bomb site. Plant will not be delayed. Bit trying to cover, trying to look over the top. Retake's going to come from lane. I think he saw him in library as well. So I think he's going to expect that they're going to give that up, give, given that he didn't peek after it. There's no further utility. Kerrigan's down below, though. Bit needs to be absolutely spot on with when he peeks. And that bomb's so far in the corner. If they're able to get him fast enough, get Perfecto down quick enough, there's no way Bit can do anything other than try and peek it out, but the crossfire's too strong. Brokey left in a one-on-two, and he's not going to go for it. He's just going to try and do damage at this point in time, get his own AWP, and run. Oh, that's a three versus five one by Navi. Again, you mentioned it as well, the over-rotation, leaving Twist all alone. The pick from Simple was absolutely magnificent. That's a frustrating way to go down if you're Twist. How about chicken? Yeah, chicken. Oh, is... he teleported out. He was see, he came right back. Changed color somehow, but he was a fine. He's it's fine. Magic bomb. It's a paint bomb. Fifteen to ten. And no more money for FaZe. All they have is the AWP in Brokey's hands. Now they have some losing bonus built up. They've got three rounds of it, so they can invest in a small light armor with some upgraded pistols. They can challenge for this round in a couple different ways. Bring some tools to bear. That's a great pick as Kerrigan Fuller is actually coming in for the retake, excuse me. And then just a, a phenomenal job from Perfecto inside the bomb site, staying alive, grabbing that one player. Brokey, the run boost again, deep mid. Saw an elbow, but didn't get a clean shot. So Rainforce back inside of the site. FaZe giving away a few too many rounds. The last time these two teams did play, and an ESL event in particular was Katowice, not in the playoffs, as I mentioned at the start of the show. However, start of the series, I should say. However, they did play in the groups to determine who would get the bye to the semifinals. Very similar scoreline on Mirage, and FaZe was unable to close that out. Navi came back, I think, eight rounds in a row, took that to overtime, and then won the game. I messaged Kerrigan after and said, man, oh man, just keep your head up. You guys are going to be fine because he looked absolutely devastated by it. And then they, of course, went on to win the event. He'll have that in the back of his mind. They can't give this away to Navi again. Likewise, Navi's going to be thinking, hey, we've done this before. Let's keep going. Full gas. Well, Kerrigan had 29 kills in that series, as we referenced previously. He's got 21 in this map alone so far. So uh, I guarantee that was in his mind as he prepared and warmed up today. That's probably been his full focus on recovering and have a better showing here today. Individually, it's there. The calling in the first half was there as well. Twist spots one, but the other two are so close, he never had a real chance. Brokey gonna line up with the off, and the Molotov steps into it. Oh, oh a double. God. That's unreal. They've got a shot. They've got a chance now. Oh, they're low on HP. Two in the flames? That's silly. The fact that he sticks that out, he goes just for one and gets a double for his efforts? That's huge. He's still in this with the AWP. 28 HP. Bits on 10. This is suddenly a winnable situation by the most audacious and bold play in the world. But he's not ready for Bit to be that far forward. He did pull the gun out, but not quite enough. As Rops knows he's low, we'll try and swing around behind him. There's ample opportunity to win the round if he finds him quick enough, but Bit's going to evade, and I think that's going to be it. There's no way Rops can win it now. Rops' goal is to get that AWP. And the tough part is, Bit can't really protect it. He has no HP. He is going to have to bail out far away from the bomb site. 
in towards Boiler. He's going to discover the location of Rops. Simple going to come in next. Rops wants to get that AWP. Not going to have the opportunity. And Simple just lets it lie. Keeps with the AK-47. Navi just four rounds back. It's been four straight for them. Phase running out of chances to close the map. As we, as we talk about, uh, yeah, this is great. It's the only real chance they had a win in the round, and that's one of the things that's made Brokey such an exciting opera as well. He's willing to take those massive, massive risks. I was going to say, we're talking about Katowice. Let's go back to it because FaZe has been in this situation before, albeit from the other side of things. They had the massive comeback on G2 in the grand finals. Yeah, th that is true. They have proven that they also can come back. The point is, they know it. both teams know it's possible. And both teams need to play accordingly right now, because FaZe cannot afford to give this away. This one's for elimination. And remember, they just dropped a 5-on-3 just a few rounds back. And they did it by over-rotating. Again, we saw that in the 3-on-3 three three as well, when they went toward B and Simple picks up the M4. They're just getting a little bit ahead of themselves. Good find from Rops this time as he gets bit down in the apartments. Good damage as well on Perfecto and Boomage, but Kerrigan and Rain are going to have to be very sharp right now over at the B side of the map. Yeah, when does Twist choose to start cheating over and rotate? He doesn't have any nades for support. Nothing in his pocket. Rain is boosted up. Kerrigan holding the Molotov. He's going to hear the footsteps. Molotov coming out. There's no smoke to extinguish it. That's going to split it. That means there's only one player running through, and it's simple. He gets dropped by Rain up above. Now it's desperate. Now it's near impossible. Another Molotov rains in. That's from Brokey. 50 seconds of the clock. Navi have a time if they want to run back and consider the other bomb site. But at least for now, Boomich is going to see what he can find. Smoke clears towards spawn. But they can't do anything about it. Rain does at least get the trade to Kerrigan, sneaking out from the backside. That's going to make Brokey back into the same position.